Hello and welcome to another Hostinger Academy tutorial. My name is Gudas and today in this video I will show you how you can easily restore your WordPress website. As you can see right here I have a quite messy looking website because I did mess up with this website and if you are on the same boat I will show you how to restore it. Alright so first things first you should go to your Hostinger account, go to hosting section and select the website which you would like to restore. So since I'm in the hosting section this is the website which I want to restore. So let's click manage and let's scroll down until you see files. So first of all, before we restore our website, we need to find out the name of our database. So to do this, you want to click on file manager and you need to locate WP config file. So since I was using the same hosting to host a couple of websites, in my case, I will have to go to domain section and basically this is the folder of my website which I want to restore so let's click on it and let's click on public HTML. All right, let's scroll down and this is the file which we want to locate. Let's click the right mouse button and let's select edit. All right, let's scroll down and yeah, this is the name of your database. So you want to copy this name or you can memorize the last letters and, and numbers. So once you have done this, we can close this file and we can close file manager as well. All right, so next thing is let's go to backups and to fully restore your website, you'll need to restore your files and database. So let's start by restoring files. Let's click select. Let's select the date. All right, so as you can see, I have a weekly backup. So I'm going to select the latest date and let's click show files. So this is the website which I want to restore. So I'm going to select this folder and let's click restore files. Let's click restore and just wait a little bit of time until files are fully restored. All right, so files were restored successfully. And now we will have to restore our database. So let's select database backups. And let's choose the database. So as you remember previously, we copied the name of our database. So if you are hosting multiple websites on the same hosting, you'll have multiple databases. So you should select the right database, basically with the name which we copied previously. So I'm gonna select this one and let's click show databases. All right, let's choose the latest date as well, just like we did with our files. And let's click restore. Let's click restore one more time. All right, so database was restored successful as well. And from here we can go ahead and check our website. So let's go to our website. Let's refresh this page. And as you can see, just like that, I restored my WordPress website. So as you can see, it's very simple. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit like. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave us a comment. And as always, good luck on your online journey.